What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Server Pro and welcome to this tutorial for installing and using Limit Pillagers. Pillagers in 1.14 servers can cause quite a bit of unexplained lag, even without you realizing why. On larger servers, it could even make them unplayable. This plugin aims to fix that. To install the plugin, head over to the plugin section, select the speaker tab and search for Limit Pillagers. Install a version that's compatible with your server and restart. Alternatively, you could download it from the Spigot page and upload it to your Server Pro panel. So before we get into the plugin, why do pillagers cause lag? Well, pillagers attempting to pathfind over a long distance towards a target can be very intensive for the server, causing quite a bit of lag for the server and ultimately players, especially if they get stuck in a corner and a new path needs to be found. While this may not be an issue for everyone, it can be for larger servers where lots of pillagers are trying to find their way around. The developer of this plugin linked to a video explaining all of this in more detail. And one of the solutions was setting the patrolling NBT tag to zero, meaning they don't track constantly towards the target, instead they just exist in an area like any other mob. This glitch shouldn't affect you if you're playing on any version of Minecraft newer than 19W38A. It was reported and patched by Mojang, but if you're hosting a 1.14 server, then this is probably still affecting you. The aforementioned video has a few commands in the description, one of them being a command to spawn a pillager that causes lag. This command spawns a pillager who's trying to track to a really far away position, which isn't actually all that common, but it's not impossible, and these randomly spawning pillagers can cause quite a bit of lag. After installing the plugin and joining the server, you won't notice a difference. After some time passes and a few pillagers spawn, a lot of lag would usually start coming from nowhere. But even with the default settings, the plugin should help mitigate the lag and keep performance all the way up there. As for commands, there is only one, slash limit pillagers, followed by reload or count. Limit pillagers count shows us how many pillagers are currently spawned in on the server, and limit pillagers reload reloads the plugin with fresh settings from the config. Locate the config in the plugins folder. Even though this plugin works out of the box, we can customize the settings if you like being a power user. This plugin is very well documented in here. Every setting has an explanation before it of exactly what it does. To minimize reading exactly what's written in front of you, I'll run through just a few settings. There are four main groups, stopper, limiter, remover, and patrol remover. The last group is messages, where you can customize what the plugin says back to you in chat. Stopper has settings that prevent pillagers from spawning globally with hard limiting settings. Limiter needs Stopper to be disabled, which it is by default. Limiter is enabled by default. Limiter checks how many pillagers are in range of players and limits more from spawning. They won't spawn too far away from players usually, but those who do can still cause a bit of lag. That is fixed later in the config. Remover is not recommended and is disabled by default. It checks for pillagers on chunk load and removes them if they exist. You can set it to ignore pillager leaders and even named pillagers, as we can with every other group in here. And finally, Patrol Remover, which is enabled by default. Patrols can spawn far away from players and slowly pathfind towards them, causing a lot of lag. This setting still lets them spawn, though they spawn without a target, so they just stay in place until a player comes close enough where they will start being attacked as if they were just normal mobs. While this plugin won't be useful for new versions of Minecraft, it can be very useful for servers hosting 1.14 versions. A lot of plugins still need older versions of Minecraft to function, so some servers are still stuck on old versions and may find this very useful. Anyway, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. If you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!